Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So we're actually in the episode, or the, we're actually in the system of the previous episode because that one was sub 5 minutes in length. So yeah, we're doing another one this week as well. So without further ado guys, let's hop straight into it. So this system is from the user Helicopter 200 and it's called the uh, ASIAD system. So without further ado, let's see what they've got for us. So subscribe all the way down here. Here we are. Okay. Right. Put all load. Come on, game. Well, hopefully it's a bigger one then. Oh, yes. Uh, made by Helicopter 200. Enjoy the system. Right. Nice. Okay. It's got a nice range system here. Okay. No description. No reading this time. Right. So here's the star itself. So we've got 3.2 uh, luminosity of sun. Larger in both of the stats as well. Mass radius. First of the planets. So we've got his, his on over here. His iron. So here we go. So it's hot rock like Mercury over here. Nice. Okay, next up we have got Betatov over here. This one's at 293 uh, degrees there. Got some uh, moons to boot with them as well. So we've got Isit. And minus ton. Minus ton. So there was those guys. Okay. Moving on. We have got this one here. I'm not going to try and say the name of it, but that was the one in the picture, actually. So there it is. So a nice Earth-like world, as we can see, very bright. 47.6 um, on its temperature. And look at its stats as well. Let's always have a look at the stats. 80 and 86. Nice. So there it is. Looking good. Onto the uh, moons. So we've got two, uh, two asteroid moons by the looks of things. Well, the one that was a little larger, actually. But well, there it is. Cool. Okay. Next up, right, where are we heading next? We have got this one over here. Ooh, I like the purple oceans on it, so here we are. Okay, oh no, they're actually purple land. Okay, so cool, cool. So here it is, minus 18 degrees here, a little cooler. Looking at the stats, 96 and 95. Ooh, some very high stats here, so even better than the last one. So here it is. It's got very similar stats to Earth in mass and radius as well. Nice. And then it's also got one moon, Selena, over here. A thick blue moon as well. Okay, so pick out a look underneath. There you go, underneath. Nice. Good, good. Right, next up we have got uh, Helia. If I'm saying that one right. So here it is. As we can see, a very frozen, uh, frozen looking world here. It's even colder than the last one we were at. This must be a blow. It's actually got better stats than the first Earth flight world as well. So, very, very cool. Got some uh, asteroid moons by the looks of things as well. Cool. And then it's got one large moon over here. It's going with a reddish atmosphere colour too. Nice. Alright, moving on. Uh, we've got this one over here. So that's an all frozen world. Gnayanya? Nania? I hope I'm saying that right. I mean, probably not, but there we are. Okay, and then onto these one's moons. Ule. Got this one as well. All right. Interesting. Next up, we got this one. Oh, we've got a gas giant here. Got a bunch of moons to boot with it as well. Very, very red colour in shade here. Onto the moons. Here they all are. Oh. So we've got Eubinus. Looking good. Nice. Ecom. And. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, next up, we got Suzutania. Oh, a nice yellow shade. Actually, I like that one. You know what? I actually like that one so much. I'm going to get excited at that. That's a, uh, uh, that's a nice, that's a nice, bright, vibrant one. I do like that. So we've got Zuzu Tanya over here. It's quite large as well. One one uh, radius, one point oh nine radius of Jupiter, almost as large in mass as well. And there you go. It's got a bunch of moons. Cool. So there they are. Good, good. All right, moving on. Gemo slight over here. Gemos. I'm saying that right as well. Another, again, another nice, yeah, I, I like them. I'll get a copy of those. So there they are. Nice. And then onto the moons, I think they're all generic moons, aren't they? They don't look any customised ones. So, yeah, they're all, they're all just generic asteroids. I can tell that from a mile off. They're all just, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. They've got um, an interesting orbit, though. Look, you can see some of them get further out. Slightly inclined orbits as well, eccentric orbits. 
Nice. Next up we've got e Eton. So, instead of Saturn, we've got Eton. So that's a nice purple one. All alone though, no moons. Next up we've got this one here. Okay, it's like a comet, asteroid. Got a few of those. All the way over here. Okay, then we've got some further out objects as well. And we've got one last planet all the way over here, kind of like Sedna. So, very, very far out. Complete darkness, not surprised. Check its stats. 581 AU, yeah, very, very far away. I mean, the system is just a... I mean, if we go to realistic lighting... Oh, oh no, we aren't realistic lighting, okay. Oh, object visibility, so if I go to realistic, you see the star is so dim, you can't even spot it. So, pretty crazy. But there we are. So that does it for this system, guys. So a massive thank you to the user Helicopter200 for sending this system in. And that was the uh, ACAD system. Hope I'm saying that right. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more helps on the journey to uh, 24,000 subscribers. And yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day out here, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.